Hey everyone, I'm hoping that you're already having an extraordinary day. I know I am. Today, I want to go over a few things. First, I want to help those who may be new or haven't used Exodus Wallet, either the desktop or the mobile, to help you understand the differences and how to get started. Thank you to one of my subscribers for reaching out because like I always say, others often have similar questions. The other thing I'd like to get into is a quick update and then go around and collect some Bitcoin, so stay tuned. Hola everyone, it's Miss B Money here from Crypto Connections. Welcome back and a warm hello to those of you who are new here. If you are new here, it would really mean the world to me if you click on the subscribe button below and become part of our community. And be sure to also click on the notification bell to be notified of my latest uploads. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, did you know that Exodus has its own YouTube channel? Let's just go there for a second. I have left the link to their channel below in the description box. And as you can see here, they have lots of great videos available. So I definitely suggest that if you're new to Exodus, this will be a helpful source for you. I've also left some other useful links below in the description box with additional information, such as a link to the desktop version of Exodus, a link to the mobile version, some how-to uh, videos and support articles, and also uh, another area for many tips for new people to Exodus, kind of like a getting started guide. So I hope you found those useful. Okay, so for those of you who are new to crypto, Exodus Wallet has been a go-to wallet of many crypto pioneers. It basically helps us manage our crypto on our desktop, mobile devices, and even recently our cold or hardware wallets like Trezor. It's easy to set up, easy to use, and takes minimal learning to get started. Again, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not telling you to use Exodus Wallet, but a large number of people I know use this wallet. For instance, when we go into Hypes, I myself and a lot of people purchase their crypto, say, via an app like Coinbase. Then we transfer that to Exodus Wallet, where we can then send it out to a Hype or an ICO or even our blue chip platforms. Then, as we collect our earnings from either that hype or ICO or whatever, we either accumulate them in our, say, Bitcoin wallet on Exodus for the next hype, or we send it back to an exchange to send the fiat back to our bank accounts. This part is definitely a personal preference, but one word of caution, I would never keep too much on your Exodus wallet just like my rule for any exchange. Now, Exodus is pretty secure, but I always believe that anything is only as good until the next brilliant hacker comes along. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Some of you may also be wondering what happens if Exodus as a company no longer existed and say your wallet didn't work anymore. The good thing about Exodus is that if you are an advanced user, you can look up your private keys and export that data. But aside from that, if you didn't do that and say lost use of your Exodus wallet, as long as you have the 12 seed words that you got when you set up the wallet, you can find those keys with any wallet that uses 12 seed word structure as well. It gives me a little bit more sense of security, but I still choose to not be lazy and leave a lot on there for any length of time. Again, this is just a matter of choice. And it's important that you do what's right for you. If you check out one of my earlier videos, there have been a lot of exchanges that have exit scammed on thousands of investors. I personally like to keep a little, I mean very little in my wallet just so that I can quickly jump into something new. But in general, a regular habit of taking your money off the exchange or even wallets like Ex Exodus is good practice in my opinion. Like I said, please do your own research and do what's right for you. And if you really don't want to cash out, 
then please consider spreading your assets into different exchanges and different wallets. So maybe even consider getting a hard wallet and storing your crypto there. Of course, nothing is guaranteed. All of these are still as risky as the other. And it all comes down to how secure you are with your keys. It's also important to know that with any of these storage options, whether you use them temporarily or permanent, you must be vigilant with record keeping. If you lose your seed words, you're screwed. I'm truly not trying to scare you, but reinforce how important private keys are and seed words as well. Keep them in a safe place. You may even consider purchasing a USB key and storing them there. And of course, keeping that key in a safe place. I personally use a SanDisk USB stick or key, which I got off of Amazon. You can find a link to it below in my description box if you are curious. I'm also providing some links to important information below related to the Exodus wallet that may be helpful. But please, if at any time you're not sure, it's so important to reach out to their support. They are available 24 seven. You actually get a real person on the other end and they're super quick to respond and have been very helpful for me. But before you do, I would suggest that you check out their getting started section, which again, I have left the link below. Okay, so let's get into the meat of this subject and understand what Exodus Wallet is. Exodus actually has an introductory video on their website. So I figured let's just hear it from Exodus themselves. It's only two minutes long and it will help you understand what Exodus is and what it can do for you. Exodus is the only one application to secure, manage, and exchange blockchain assets. Your private keys are encrypted and stored locally on your device. There are no hosted servers. This approach gives you total control over your funds. Exodus makes it safe and easy to manage over 100 blockchain assets in one wallet. View your portfolio balance at a glance. Your holdings are visually displayed according to their percentage of your portfolio. Check your portfolio balance over time. Market details of your holdings such as market capitalization, 24-hour volume, and 24-hour price change are available directly within Exodus. Accessing your wallet is easy. Simply click on the asset you want to see in the portfolio ring to jump to the asset. Then click on the asset to open its wallet. You can also click on the wallet icon in the sidebar and search for the wallet you would like to use. Click on the wallet tab and the name of the blockchain asset to view individual account balances and transaction history. Clicking the transaction will expand the transaction details. You can use these to view the transaction directly on the blockchain. To receive funds, click the Receive button and Exodus will generate your unique address. To send funds, simply scan a QR code or paste the address of the wallet you'd like to send funds to. In one click, send your entire account balance or enter the amount you'd like to send. If you feel more comfortable working in your local currency, Exodus will do the conversion for you. With Exodus, you can seamlessly exchange your blockchain assets in one click without ever having to leave the comfort and security of your wallet. Simply select the asset pairs and how much you would like to exchange. Market rates are provided in real time. What you see is what you'll get. Click Exchange. Your wallet will do the rest. All the technical details of the exchange are built into Exodus. This makes exchanges quick and easy. If there is ever an issue, our 24 hours, seven days a week global support team is standing by to help. Download Exodus to begin diversifying your blockchain asset portfolio. So you can probably already tell why this is a go-to wallet for many investors in crypto. Initially, Exodus only had the desktop version, but recently they've come out with the mobile application and also the hardware wallet support. I won't be going into the hardware wallet support, but I do want to go into the differences between the desktop and the mobile application. Now, for those of you interested in downloading the wallet, either the desktop or the mobile version, be sure to use the links I've provided below. These are not affiliate links, but they are links provided directly from Exodus Amin, and I know they are safe. Or should I say, as safe as your computer is. Of course, 
You can always just type in the URL whatever browser you're, you use and type in exodus.io and search for that desktop or mobile version download buttons. It'll look something similar to this or similar to this. So based on one of my subscribers, I have decided to do this video for those of you who want to know more about Exodus. I know when I first got into crypto, it was overwhelming knowing, trying to understand where to buy Bitcoin, how to store it, how to send it, and figure out all the different wallets. I have been using Exodus since the beginning, plus some other wallets as well. But the one that I like the most is definitely Exodus, and now that they have the mobile version, that makes Exodus even more attractive to me. So what are the differences between the mobile version and the desktop version that I've been using for some time now? Well, here's a quick comparison. You know this girl always likes to do her, her charts. So the desktop version of Exodus, as you can see here, supports over 100 cryptocurrency assets. And they also have an exchange. You can send and receive crypto. And they also have live charts and an uh, option to view your portfolio. And as you can see under the mobile version, everything is identical. So there's really not a big difference between the desktop version and the mobile version. Other than on the mobile version, you see here, that only 30 plus cryptocurrencies are supported. And if we look at the different assets each platform offers, you can see here that the desktop version and the mobile version offer a lot of the top rated uh, crypto. And honestly, for what we're doing, the desktop version and the mobile version aren't very different. The common assets like such as Bitcoin, oops, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and sometimes even Bitcoin Cash. All of these are available on both the desktop and the mobile version, as you can see here. If we scroll down, you can also see that what isn't supported is uh, things like Monero, Neo, and various other ones, but it's not cryptocurrencies that we tend to use for making passive income in this space, at least not right now. So for what I tend to use, Exodus for getting in and out of these hypes or blue chip platforms, it serves me well. The only other difference that I have seen in, in this is the look and feel. If we go to their actual website, here it gives you a visual of what the Exodus wallet looks like. And this is the desktop version. If we go to another website showing the mobile version, you can see it slightly different look and feel, but it has all the same um, functionality, let's say. For instance, you're able to see your portfolio like you do on the desktop. So here's the portfolio. You're able to exchange your crypto um, to say another type of crypto. So they have the exchange. And you're also able to see your crypto and how it's performing. So for instance, in the Bitcoin wallet, you can see how your Bitcoin has been performing. If it's increased its price over the um, last 24 hours. And then you can see here that you have the uh, send and receive buttons are just arrows rather than saying send and receive in your desktop wallet. I don't know if they show that on the website here, but for those of you who've already downloaded the desktop version, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they don't show it here. But you've seen it many times in my videos. So like I said, everything between the desktop version and the mobile version is almost identical. Functionality is definitely the same. The only real difference is the number of cryptocurrency it supports. And best of all, you're able to go into your specific wallet and send and receive crypto on the go. And that, in my opinion, again, is the best feature as I'm always on the go. I don't know how many times I didn't get into a platform before 
only because I had no access to my crypto or my wallet on my desktop. Of course, I got smarter over time, but I'm loving that Exodus now has this feature. So if you are interested, then please check out the links I have included in the description box below. Remember, all you have to do is scroll down a little bit below the video until you see the show more, click on the show more, and then scroll through this description box. You'll see that I've left links to any platforms that I'm in, hypes that I'm in, um, anything really that I'm in that makes passive income. Now the links that are shared below the videos are links to platforms that I still feel safe promoting if we want to call it that. I may still be in something and still getting paid out regularly, but something has told me not to share the link any longer. I like to sleep at night and the only way that I can do this is by trying my best to keep us all safe. I try my best to go through my older videos and remove links of platforms that I no longer want to promote to you. But it's not always guaranteed that I'll catch each and every one. So like I say here in my description box, if you're watching this video more than two to three days later than the original air date, which you can see up here, then I would suggest that you go back to my videos and see if I've talked about it recently. If I have talked about it recently and the link is still there, then you should be good to go. So in future, remember, click on show more, check out my links that I've shared below, and if you don't see a link there, it means I don't want to get you into it. I don't feel good about it anymore, promoting it. And if you do see the link there, it means I feel like it's okay to still promote this. And finally, if you're on an older video, more than two to three days old, then I would suggest that you not trust the links that I have below because I may have missed deleting them and go to the most recent video. I do try, even though I say two to three days, I will at least go back immediately when I don't have a good feeling about a platform and do the last two to three videos, which could span over like a week and a half. And then as I get time, I go in and clean up all the links as best I can. But again, I'm human, so I could have missed one. So it's just better to be safe and do your own research again. If you are on an older video and you see a link, just do your research and check through my videos to see if I promoted that link more recently. Hope this helps. Okay, and before I end this video for today, I just want to go over a few words of caution about Exodus. Just remember that Exodus support will never ask you for your 12 uh, seed words or your 12 word phrase. They'll never ask you for your private keys, your backup link, or even your password. So just be extra vigilant again and only reach out to them by support at exodus.io. Any other way, they will never reach out to you first. It's only you reaching out to them. And they will never do anything over the phone or video as a way of support or wanting to even connect to your computer. They may ask for some files if you're having a problem with the back end of your um, or with the functionality of your program and you're fearful that possibly... Um, the latest update didn't work. I've had that issue in the past and they've only asked for system files. So just be extra vigilant and always question before you send anything to anyone as to what that information may contain in hopes that you stay safe. Usually a common sign of someone trying to scam you is someone asking for your 12 word phrase or private keys. So please try to keep yourself safe out there. And actually, I might do a video in the near future just more on how you can protect yourself even by using Exodus and ensure that your money stays safe. Now, before I go today, again, I just want to go around to some of my platforms and quickly see if there's any Bitcoin there that we can deposit into Exodus. 
So as you know, EXP Acid has been one of my favorite blue chip platforms. Got into it in December 31st, 2018. So it's been about six months. And I have 79.86 here that I could withdraw, but I'm just going to hold off till next week. I'll get another $30 next week. That'll take me up to over $100. And then I'll decide at that time whether I want to buy another binary plan for $100 or um, take that money off. I can always take this money off the platform and then put it on again later. Um, you know, it's obviously better in my pocket. Of course, don't do what I do, do what's right for you. You may want to take this off just to play it safe. I have good confidence in this program. It's been going well. Of course, it doesn't mean it's gonna last forever, but I'm gonna keep this $79 on here Add the $30 uh, next week, which will be my 1% on my binary plan. So basically on my binary plan, I get about $6.23 a day, as you can see up here, on this amount that's, that's invested. And this, if you recall from my earlier videos, is all free money. I put about $1,500 in this platform, not only in the binary, but also uh, purchasing the matrix packages to get commissions. So in total, I've been able to pull off about $1,746 of withdrawals. And of course, some of that went back in to buy new binary plans. But overall, I'm well ahead of the game with this one and very happy with it so far. The next one that I got into was my passive traits and it's still a slow and steady income earner. Now with my passive traits, I actually registered for this one in April and got a little distracted and actually didn't make my first deposit until, let's see, uh, May 24th was my first deposit. So currently I have $160 in ad packs running that earn me up to 1.25% daily. And so far right now I have $11.40 in my wallet that I can either withdraw or purchase new ad packs. And I've already withdrawn about $50 um, in Bitcoin. So I am gonna continue to invest in this platform. Every time I get enough to buy a couple of ad packs, I do that. So I'll go to purchase advertising, buy ad packs. Now, of course, this isn't adding to my, um, not buy ad packs, sorry, passive trade packs, buy ad packs. And we're going to put two in here because each of them is, each unit costs $5. And I'm going to use my balance there and buy now. Now, of course, this won't add to my um, Exodus balance, but overall, I'm trying to build my, my account balance so that I can continue to earn one up to 1.25% daily on this amount. So I'm slowly increasing this amount. As, as I mentioned earlier, I only started with $100, and that was in late May. So this is slow and steady income earner, but it's it's but it reminds me of the uh, tortoise and hare race. So sometimes slow and steady is good. Another one that I'm in is FX trading. Now some of you probably remember that I was lucky to withdraw about forty-one dollars and fourteen cents earlier this week, and yes, it showed up in my wallet. FX trading still has the message board up saying that withdrawals are free and there's no minimum. So let's see if I can process another withdrawal. I'm not too sure that I can based on everyone's uh, comments to me. Of course, I only have a dollar 20 in there. Um, so, hey, let's just see if it'll work. Uh, so go to finance, finance, uh, withdrawal. There's a zero fee, doesn't say anything about minimum. So I'm gonna do the $1.20 and 
and there's my wallet and let's see if this is even going to work confirm you have reached the limit of one withdrawal request in the last 30 days so that's why I was able to do it before that was my first withdrawal so now I'll have to wait another 30 days which is August 8th or August 9th looks like so I'm in the same boat as everyone else we definitely know based on all the things that are happening that it seems that this platform is dying on us and I haven't shared this referral link for quite some time now and I have no referral signed up under me which I'm glad about because I broke my rules of engagement with this platform and FOMO'd in late. Like I said, I'm not perfect but again it just reinforces how important these rules are. Last but not least uh, actually, I'm also in VCI International, but I'm not going to show that to you guys because I know most of my audience is uh, from the U.S. So let's just see how X Trade Chain is doing. So X Trade Chain is still building day by day. I'm on day seven of this program, and I have 193 days remaining, and I've earned about four percent of my 400 percent um, hopefully that we'll get and my total profit so far has been sixteen dollars and forty six cents so this one too is a slow and steady income earner um, it'll be a while till I'll be able to actually withdraw from this but this is ha has been going good so far and I look forward to at least getting hopefully 200 percent off of this platform or more I'm open to it and in addition, I've also been actively researching and checking out some new platforms for me to invest in, or should I say gamble. And nothing has sparked my interest as of yet, but I know the space is cyclical and there will be some juicy platforms coming our way. So I'll just keep researching and keep my ear to the ground, so to speak, and hope to find something new for myself and you guys if you so choose to get in very shortly. Well, that's about it, and that's all I have to chat about today. It's been a long video. Um, I hope it was informative, especially for the newbies, and hopefully even if you are a seasoned professional in the crypto space that you were able to pick up something new from, from the video. Have a blessed day, everyone, and until next time, hasta luego. Love you guys.